is something wrong with me if you ever ask yourself this question or ask this question to someone else is something wrong with them then this video will help you identify that let's get started there are times when we feel nothing is going right for us we have trouble falling asleep keep awake most of the night trouble getting out of the bed and getting along in the day we lack motivation to do even the simplest chores when our loved ones or friends and family point that out to us then we defend our position and try to avoid conversation with them when things don't go the way we want them to it's natural for such thoughts to occur but the important part is are these temporary or are these occurring more frequently are you stuck with such a question in your head because the more you think of such thoughts the more it has an impact on your mental health Major mental issues do not occur out of a blue. They are often a result of ignoring small changes, that subtle feeling of something is wrong. There are changes that happen in our thoughts and our behavior before it becomes a full-blown issue. So if we become aware of our early symptoms, it will help us to protect our mental health and not just us but also those around us. Preventing and protecting our mental health can help us live a longer and a happier life. So what do you do to recognize if there is something wrong with you? Here's something that you can try. The first as always is to observe what is happening with you. You can literally see the signs and symptoms of the changes such as uh, your sleep patterns, dramatic mood swings, withdrawal from social conversations, loss of interest in everything, and more importantly, increase sensitivity to things that are happening around us observe any unusual behavior that you may find with yourself and of those around you don't brush off these symptoms saying that they're probably stressed keep a note of what is happening and when you notice this on someone else observe their pattern and frequency there are several free self assessments that are available online which you can use which point you to the direction of your mental health once you observe a behavior then you analyze if there is a possible root cause for this since when have you been experiencing such changes is that a result of an event such as a heartbreak or a loss of a loved one because such events typically tend to derail us a bit but that is a temporary phase and it's perfectly normal prolonged derailment is not normal Try to assess what is causing it and how long have you been troubled by it. Then try to talk to someone closest to you. Expressing what is there in your heart and mind can help you ease up your tensions to a certain degree. Speak to someone whom you can trust, someone who will not give you an advice and let your steam off. If you don't have anyone that you can trust 100%, then try personal coaching. It is the best option for you to get unbiased and non-judgmental listening. If you need assistance in finding a coach you may drop me a note you can find my details in the description below okay so we have identified three steps so far which can help us protect our mental health observe analyze and express the fourth and the last step is learn if there is any family history and what is the degree of susceptibility that you may be having although there are tons of information on mental health available online i personally recommend that you speak to your family doctor or a counselor and perhaps prevent mental health in playing brain games or handling a puzzle or sudoku anything that challenges your brain and keeps you very active there are lot of videos which i basically tell you how you can keep yourself mentally active and also avoid a lot of problems or mental issues in the future do whatever it is that you can to keep yourself mentally healthy that's it from me i leave you today with this quote Thank you so much for watching if you have any questions or feedback for the topic of this month which is mental health do leave it in the comment section below or you may reach out to me in any of the social media platforms that i'm in if you find this video resourceful do hit a like button share it with your friends and of course do not forget to subscribe to my channel subscribe and also hit the bell icon so you're notified every week when i post a new video i'll see you next week until then take good care of yourself bye